I, you know, how many times have you got people that come into your shop and, uh, yeah, yeah, with a roof rack, you know, and, and then they're bitching about how much roof racks cost. I wonder how much these things cost, you know, what the retail is. How you doing? You're with C-Sucker? I am. You, want the you are C-Sucker. How-to? Yeah, I want a how-to. Okay. Bring it on. Yeah, right on. <laughs> are you familiar with it at all? You Nothing. Familiar? Absolutely zero. Okay. So here's the deal. Everything we make, our bike racks are all vacuum mount. Uh, so what I mean by vacuum mount, it, it may look like a suction cup. It's actually got a little finger pump built right into it. And that pump is actually going to pull the air from out from under the vacuum cup. And once you pump that thing on there, it's locked into place. So the vacuum cups that we use on our bike racks, these six inch vacuum cups, each of them have a 210 pound rated pull string. That means, you know, for instance, with four vacuum mounts on that one, that's got, uh, well, I can't even do the math. 210 times four. 840 pounds of pull string. So, <laughs> All right. strong. Uh, but it also means you saw me attach this thing in just about, I don't know, three seconds. That means this whole rack goes on in 30 seconds if you're taking your time. And you can pop the whole thing off in about 10 seconds. So incredibly easy to use, incredibly strong. Uh, it's also extremely versatile in the sense that this rack is not made for a particular car or a particular uh, place on a particular car. It is a rack that fits on virtually any car on the market. So if somebody rolls into your parking lot, you know, with whatever car, 95% of the cars that pull in your parking lot, our single bike rack or Talon is going to fit on that car. You know, there are no extra parts or pieces that you need to carry with it. There's a one skew rack system in a box. Well, how do they stand up in heat? The seal can't be affected by heat? Um, by heat in the sense of, you know, if, if it warms up, you're expecting the air underneath it to expand and break the vacuum. Because that's kind of what happens, like you have a garment in your car, you have it in your windshield. The air underneath that vacuum cup will expand, it'll ultimately break the vacuum. Our stuff works differently. Our, our pump actually removes the air from underneath it, so there's so little air left underneath the vacuum cup when you pump it out, even if it were to expand, you know, fourfold, it wouldn't be enough to break the vacuum. So you notice that the cup is flat now as I'm pumping taking the air out from underneath it. When you make a vacuum with uh, with the other kind of uh, vacuum cups that has to have a, like a lever or a twist, you're actually not moving any air out of there. So you're taking you're taking air and putting it into a bigger space. That's technically a vacuum. Same amount of air in a bigger space as a vacuum because you're pulling the top of that cup up. And so we do it opposite. We take the air out and we flatten the whole thing out. It gives it a more stable base. So what about expense? Expense. Retail. So, okay. Retail. Our, uh, our number one selling rack is our single bike rack, our Talon. Retails 270 Our two bike rack is our next best seller. Retails 400 They're definitely reasonable. Thank I, you, sir. I think, you, uh, I think you guys are cutting edge. I think you're right. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I, and I love cutting edge. Whether or not it's going to stick out and you're going to make it make it go in the market, it doesn't matter because you know what? You're cutting edge. Oh, well, Keep up the good work. We're I think you're going to do it. Go in the market. How long you guys been in business? This is our fifth interbike. We've been making, thank you very much, sir. We've been making stuff, uh, you know, with our vacuum mounts for about eight years now. We got to start in the marine market making accessories for boats. Uh -huh. Stuff like cup holders and rod holders and dive racks. So that sort of stuff. You know, oh, so you got so this so the bicycle thing is new for you for the last five years. Yeah, last five years. And the uh, suction cups for boats and that kind of stuff yeah, has been, been for how long? For about eight years or so. Yeah. That is cool, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. That is cool. I uh, we got to get your information all the way around. Okay. I really yeah, I appreciate it. My card. And then, uh, I want you guys to never fear. Never fear. It's always innovative. We're having fun with Greg. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.